education. Well, 20% of children here in New York State are living in poverty, and state leaders are hoping to cut that number in half over the next 10 years. The Child Poverty Reduction Advisory Council holding its first meeting today to discuss how to do just that. News 10 ABC Capital correspondent Amel Taliji explaining the steps they're considering. The memo of today's meeting, poverty is solvable. Members of the council say they don't have to reinvent the wheel, but it's an issue that will take some time to fix. Poverty is widespread. There are communities all across the state in which poverty is challenging. And for some, we, New York, frankly, ranks high. The council discussed four different policy packages created by the National Academy of Science, which have been proven to reduce child poverty. Commissioner Daniel Teets says the team can pull out bits and pieces from these policies, but they will certainly have to focus on two key issues. One of them for sure is earned income tax credit and or uh, child tax credit, child allowance idea. For sure, um, it, it's difficult to imagine that we could get to our goal um, as laid out in the statute without looking at those as being part of any any effort. Another issue the council will address is housing costs, which the commissioner says are two times the national average here in New York. For sure, we need to look at what do we do about what's colloquially referred to as shelter allowance for those on public assistance and making adjustments in that shelter allowance. Some other proposed ideas include increasing SNAP benefits and housing vouchers for families with children, increase the earned income tax credit by 40%, and converting the child and dependent care tax credit to a fully refundable tax credit. The council will have their next meeting in December. Reporting in Albany, Amel Taleji.